deposition is very different than an open hearing. For the viewers across America, an open hearing is five minutes on the Democrat side, five minutes on the Republican side. It becomes a very public press opportunity for the Democrats to politicize. We want to go at this from a legal and factual perspective, and the only way to get that is through a deposition. And I will remind you, Will, this is what Democrats said uh, when they refused to allow just an open hearing, when they made their argument they want a deposition. So now they're trying to make the counter argument, but they are on record saying that witness should have a deposition. So it is unacceptable that Hunter Biden's attorney said he just wants to do an open hearing. The only correct response to the subpoena is a deposition. House GOP conference chair Elise Stefanik is echoing Republican calls to have Hunter Biden testify behind closed doors for the impeachment inquiry into the president, arguing a public spectacle can wait. Seamus Brenner is the author of Control the Guards, and he's the director of research at the, at the Government Accountability Institute, and he joins us now. Seamus, so great to have you on. So the GOP says we need this behind closed doors, no grandstanding. Uh, Hunter and the Democrats want an open hearing. You've staked your whole career on government accountability and holding the powerful accountable and getting to the root of scandals like this. What do you think should happen? Yeah, it's great to be with you, Rachel. Uh, Congresswoman Stefanik is absolutely correct. It needs to be behind closed doors. And of course, Hunter and uh, his allies want to make it the public spectacle where it's about the drugs and people in the prostitutes and poor Hunter's problem. They need it behind closed doors so they can really drill down, get to the meat of the problem, follow the money, reference the emails that are so damning against Hunter yeah. and even Joe. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting, the scandal, it seemed so obvious to everyone looking. I mean, you have his laptop that had all the emails. You had Tony Bobolinsky, his business partner, who said, yeah, we met with Joe Biden. Um, you have shell companies in the name of the family. Um, what else? You had 10 percent to the big guy in the emails. And then we found payments of 10 percent to the big guy, to Joe Biden. Um, and, and going through, again, all these weird shell companies that no normal person has or puts in the name of their grandkids. Um, so why why is it taking so long with this particular family, you studied all, a lot of these corrupt families. What is it that this family has in particular? Well, the Bidens are very dishonest about their business dealings. I mean, for years, when we first broke this news in 2018, first they said, oh, it's crazy conspiracy theories. Uh, there's no way that Joe Biden ever talked business with his son, Hunter. Even to this day, Joe Biden says that he didn't talk business or if he did, you know, he never got paid. And the standard that the Democrats have set on this, which is, well, it, Joe never got paid. That's not the standard. 18 U.S.C., the bribery statute, said, Section 271, says that anything of value for any official action. And so the thing of value could be payments to Hunter. It could be payments to James Biden and the other Biden family members. It doesn't have to go directly to Joe. So that's, that's a false standard. And if bribery was committed, then the Constitution demands impeachment. So are you do you feel confident with this this new conf, this new Republican majority that, you know, with Mike, uh, with Speaker Johnson and also with what James Comer and the conference is doing? Do you feel like there is going to be um, accountability and, 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 and justice? Well, there, uh, you know, the, the disclosure and the transparency and knowing the true story is one form of accountability. But if they can get Hunter behind closed doors and really drill down on two questions, there's just two questions they really need to drill down on is number one, did you ever talk to your father about your foreign business dealings? Now, we know the answer to that is yes. Now, Hunter's not been very honest about this. But the second question is, did your father ever uh, talk to your business partners while doing foreign policy that affected their business? And the answer to both those questions is yes. And the money proves that things of value were transferred. Now, Joe Biden, in his own words, has said he uh, withheld the billion dollars. That's an official action right there, uh, unless they fired the prosecutor. And then the email showed that the Burisma executives wanted Joe Biden to do that. So this is an open shut case as far as I'm concerned. 
Well, let's see if something happens. Um, as you said, there's only a yes or no to those questions. Um, so it'll be very interesting. By the way, I had Seamus on um, my podcast that I have with my husband from the kitchen table. We talk about the globalist plot to uh, control your money, your food, um, and, and your energy. And so we, we break all that down, why they're doing it and who's doing it. Um, make sure to check out that podcast with Seamus Brunner. And um, that's from the kitchen table. So thank you so much, uh, Seamus. It was great having you on. Thank you, Rachel. You got it. It was a fascinating conversation. You guys got to check it out.